17-6, Hampshire pork here, Hampshire bred sow. She's a rising star struts, bred to freelancer due early January. Yeah, this happens to be one that uh, it fell into our number scenario. We wanted to offer a couple, if we could, of every breed uh, as much as possible here. And we do have several Hampshires running around. them wanted to make sure that we offered quality. This is one that uh, wins show at Belton there, I believe, three, three springs ago. Um, and uh, just literally, we got it rolling really good right now. This is one that's going to lay down, have pigs, and she'll milk like an absolutely hosting cow. I bred to the freelancer boar. Uh, man, this could be a lights out litter. Yeah, I honestly don't know. We've had freelancer for three seasons, and why this is the first time turning her through the crate bred that way, uh, that's probably just brat, bad breedership on Chris and I's part. Uh, uh, this one had a very, very good litter this fall that I'm quite fond of. And honestly, one at uh, the 17 6. Uh, she just front pasture kind of Hampshire pork here. She's the, got the, t the high quality build. She's offered such a good Hampshire look from the side. And I honestly, I'll tell you, one that I'm so excited uh, in terms of seeing what she can do, bred to freelancer, his ability to make him tidy necked and tie high on the top side of his shoulders, absolutely incredible. And just need to take to something that is this stout and loose about their skeleton. It's a home run on paper. It's a home run, uh, I think, uh, when, when the progeny starts to drop out of this one. Uh, excited. Excited for what this one can have. Uh, maybe not excited about her changing ownership.